If you'd like to learn how to use Moon Animator 2 to animate a part, keep watching and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Welcome to Roblox Snippets. Today we're going to use Moon Animator 2. So if you do not have it, uh, it's up the top here. I've clicked on plugins and I've got Moon Animator 2 with these three tools underneath it. Now, if you don't already have it, you can get it by coming over to manage plugins and then this window will pop up and you can click on the plus sign here, which will bring up our toolbox window. And then under marketplace on the drop down, if you click on plugins and type in the word moon, and that should be enough to get it to pop up. Now, Moon Animator 2, um, it costs you Robux, and I believe the price is around 1700 Robux, which is a little bit pricey, but it's well worth it and uh, a great plugin to do some animations with. So, if you take the plunge and you purchase it, you can close these windows. And once you've installed it, then you will have these three tools up the top here, like me. Now, the first one is Moon Animator, and that's where we create our keyframes and our animations. We'll use that shortly. Character Inserter will insert your avatar into the workspace if you wish to um, animate your own avatar. And Easy Weld is, uh, it has a few functions, and uh, we'll, we'll have a look at that uh, today, but it's um, for cleaning up uh, tools and models, connecting those models to your NPCs to animate with, um, so it's a very useful thing as well. All right, so once you've got that uh, all installed and you're ready to go, we can begin. So we're going to, this is my fourth video, by the way, uh, about Moon Animator 2. Uh, it's the last one I'm doing at the moment with Moon Animator 2, but if you want to check out my other three videos, uh, they go into detail about how to animate in different ways, um, and you can check them out on my channel. All right, so we're going to animate a part um, today. So we'll come up to the Home tab and click on uh, Home and just uh, click on just a normal standard part, okay? Now you can change it uh, to a color you might like and materials and all that sort of thing. All right, so I might use, um, we might make it Pebble. Okay, now there's a few steps to this and they sort of need to be done in an order um, to make this work. So follow along closely uh, and don't skip parts of it or you, you'll find that it uh, probably won't work. Now uh, we're only animating one part here, however you could have a model and animate multiple parts within that model if you wished. Uh, so that's why Moon Animator 2 is, uh, is very good for animating parts. If you were to use the Studio um, Animation Editor uh, or, or just code, you could uh, perhaps use tweens, but you would need to do it on the individual parts and it could get quite complicated. So once you've got your part in here, we're going to leave the part unanchored. So that's the first thing to know. Anything in your model or that you want to animate needs to be unanchored, all right? So next, what we're going to do is duplicate this part. So come over here and we will right click on it and choose duplicate and leave it where it is but change the name of it to be root okay so this is going to be our root part and it acts a little bit like a humanoid root part uh, in a humanoid and we need this part as a reference for this part to animate against but we don't need to see it so down in its properties come down and we can turn or, um, uh, we can actually anchor that one and up the top find transparency and set it to one so it's invisible and that's all we need to do with that now we're going to group both of these together as a model so if root is selected hold down command or control and click on the other part so they're both in blue then right click and come up and group as model and once you've got this, uh, we might change the name of this just to be uh, part model. And we can expand that out again. So now we've got uh, a model for us to work with. What we need to do next is we need to set um, the primary part, all right, as the root part for this model. So make sure you've clicked on the model name and then come down to its properties down the bottom. 
and scroll down and you'll find this primary part with an empty box. Left click in the empty box and you'll see that your cursor gets a little Lego type uh, block next to it. While it's like that, come over to the root part and left click on it. And it should now say root in next to primary part. All right, now we'll uh, start using Moon Animator 2. So come up to plugins and we're going to click on Easy Weld to begin with. And you'll get this window that comes up. Now, in this particular case, we're interested in parts. So left click over on parts and we're going to weld these together. All right, so what you need to do is click on uh, the root part and then once again hold down command or control and click on the part itself. If you've done that correctly you should see that join comes up. So left click on join and you should get this welded part underneath root. Okay. So once you've done that then we are good to go so we can close the easy weld window and now we can open up Moon Animator 2 so come up and left click on it and the first thing we'll do is create a new file so down the bottom new Moon 2 file and it opens up this window here and come up to file and save and we'll give it a name so we'll just call this animate part and click on OK and up the top here shows what we're working on at the moment. Alright, so now we need to import this model in here. And the way we do that is to click on the plus sign up here and then we can come over and click on the model in the Explorer window and if everything has worked correctly make sure you see the word rig here. So if it doesn't say rig then you haven't followed the steps just as I just did them. So go back and, and do that, otherwise it's not going to work. However, if you see Rig here, go ahead and click on OK. And you'll see that in Moon Animator 2 now, we have this Rig, and we have the part that we're going to animate down here. Alright, now that we have that, we can make a little bit of room. So close your Output window, and Explorer, and Properties window, and we can move this over to the top right hand corner so that we can work with the part all right so I've clicked on the part and you can see that this rotate um, tool has come up just like it is in studio now even though it looks identical it's not the same one that's in studio so make sure that when you're using these tools to move your parts that you are doing it from within moon animator 2 meaning that I've clicked on the part and now I want to work with the tool here, not come up to uh, the top and click on rotate. Right, so if you want to move the part, you can toggle by pressing R on your keyboard and you'll get the move tool. Okay, and if you hit R again, you'll come back to the rotate tool. Now we can go ahead and start to uh, animate our part. So it starts where it's sitting, obviously, and if we click on 30 for example or near nearabouts then let's say I press R and I move the brick over to the left you'll see that a keyframe gets created over here to represent that I have made that movement over to here now I can also do another movement if I'd like so if I hit R again and rotate this now so I might rotate it around this way and you don't have to do it exactly the same as me Right, and let's say we move it up so it's not in the ground, like so. So if you'd like to see your animation play um, up to this point, you can hit the space bar and you will see that the part moves smoothly from the first keyframe where we started to this keyframe where we ended up. Now you can continue to do more movements if you move over to 60 say, and then uh, perhaps move up in the air and then if we hit R to rotate again and we might rotate around this way and R for movement and come over this way so you can continue to make your animation as such alright so it's fairly easy to, to get a part animated now I'll leave it at that because uh, we've got something working here 
However, we'll just look at the settings of Moon Animator 2. So to get the settings up, press the number 8 on your keyboard and you will get this window come up. At the moment, our animation is 5 seconds long and that is far too long. So what we can do is set that to 1 and hit OK. And you'll see that it zooms in now. So now our keyframes are spread out. Now if you want things to move faster or slower, that's determined by how much distance it is between each keyframe. So at the moment, mine is moving fairly quickly. I'm quite happy with that. However, if you wanted it to move quicker, then you could move these keyframes all closer together and it would go very quick. And if you wanted it to be slower, then you could make the animation longer, like it was already five uh, seconds long, and spread them right out and it would move much slower. All right, so hopefully you, you understand that. I'll just move back to the beginning. Now, uh, just one other thing. If you want to see it looping, up here next to the plus, there's this symbol here. Uh, and if you left click so that it's not crossed out uh, and hit spacebar, you'll see that your animation will loop over and over again. You can also hit the tab uh, key on your keyboard to toggle between whether this is on or off. And in our case, we're going to leave it off because in our code in a moment, I'll show you how to make it loop from within your code so you've got the option to turn it on and off if you wish. So once you're happy with your animation, uh, I'll move this window over to the left over here and come up to view and open up the Explorer window. Now you'll see that we have our part model here. What we're going to do is export our animation. So back in Moon Animator 2, come over to File and we'll save it first and then file again and come down to export rigs. Left click on it and you will see a model appears called anim saves under your model and underneath that this is a keyframe sequence. So if I bring up properties here you'll see class name keyframe sequence. This is what we want to save to Roblox. So when you've got it highlighted in blue like this right click on it, come down to save to Roblox. And once your window has opened up, you can give it a name. I'll just leave mine as Animate Part, a description if you wish, and then click on Submit. If all went well, you'll get this confirmation screen that, and up the top here, we'll have this ID. So I'd like you to left click on the little symbol next to it. It'll say ID copied. Come down and click on Close to get rid of the window. And now in our part model, left click on the model and then plus next to it and we're going to add an animation object so start typing animation and this object will pop up here animation looks like a little light bulb a white sort of thing here left click on that object and you'll see it gets added down the bottom so if we click on that and look at its properties down the bottom you'll see it has animation ID with an empty box left click in the empty box and then paste to put the number in that we just created and hit enter and Roblox Studio will format it correctly like this we can change the name of our object up here to be uh, move part anim for example and that uh, puts our animation inside of our model ready for us to use when we code we're now finished with Moon Animator 2 so you can come up and close it if you wish and now we'll look at adding a script to this to make it loop in the workplace when we play the game. So come up to the part model and click on it and we will click on the plus and add a script. Uh, we can change the name of our script to animate part. And now in order to um, get this to loop, um, Roblox Studio has a, a bit of a quirky thing with scripts um, with the looping not working. And the way to get around that is with the script highlighted, come down to its properties down the bottom here. And I'll just move this up a bit. And you'll find this item here called Run Context with Legacy written next to it. So if you click on that, it's a drop down. And I want you to click on Client. And what that effectively does is runs this script on the server but uh, it makes it act like it's a local script and that gets around the looping problem that we would run into. So if you've got that done we'll come over to our script and get rid of our hello world and we can write some code to get this to animate. 
Now, just before we do that, however, because we're working with a part that we've created to animate here, we don't have um, a way for the animation to actually play. So we need to add another object into our part model. So if you left click on the part model uh, again and click on plus, start typing animation again, and this time, instead of our animation object, we're going to add an animation controller. And that will let us make use of it to play the animation uh, for the part. So we'll create some variables now. So local uh, anim controller will equal script.parent.animationcontroller. And right below that, local part anim will equal script dot parent dot and now we are after this one here so whatever you named it down here move part anim that's the one that we're after so dot move part anim and now we'll create a animation track and what we're going to do here is load the animation onto the animation controller so we say anim controller and then a code load animation and part anim and I'll just close that window there and now we can play the animation so anim track with a colon and type play and to loop the animation we can say animation track dot looped equals true right so just make sure you've got your output window open if you click on view it's the second one on the top here and we'll click on file and save and let's play and see how it runs all right if everything went well for you you should see your part being animated in the workspace just like mine is here and because we've got looping on it's looping over and over again so i hope you enjoyed that uh, video and I, if you've watched my other videos on moon animator 2 i hope you enjoyed this little series and i look forward to seeing you in future videos if you found this video useful subscribe now for more information about my online courses go to mrbrennanross.com